Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Learn Science with me. This video is on Dengue Fever. Dengue is a mosquito-borne viral infection found in tropical and subtropical climate worldwide. It is mostly found in urban and semi-urban areas. The causative agent of this Dengue Fever is a Dengue virus which is also called Dengue and it is from the family of Flaviviridae. There are four serotypes of this dengue virus which means it is possible to be infected four times from this virus and the serotypes are dengue 1, dengue 2, dengue 3 and the dengue 4. The transmission of this dengue virus is through the bite of infected female mosquito which is called Aedes aegypti mosquito. World Health Organization categorized this dengue fever into two types a mild dengue fever and the dengue hemorrhagic fever. This dengue fever is suspected when a high fever is accompanied by the following symptoms sudden onset of high fever, severe headache, pain behind eyes, nausea and vomiting and the skin rashes. And this dengue hemorrhagic fever is a fatal condition bleeding from nose, mouth and gums, severe abdominal pain frequent vomiting with a stool like cold tar, dry mouth and the restlessness. The dengue fever can be diagnosed by some of the blood tests like NS1 test, serology test, IgG or IgM, PCRs and also we can observe the platelet counts of the patient. If the fever is since last 1 to 2 days only, then we can go through NS1 test. NS1 antigen test allows rapid detection on the first day of fever. If the fever has been sensed 5 to 6 days, then you can go for IgG and IgM. In IgG and IgM, if both are positive, then it indicates that current infection is present. If only this IgM is positive, then it also indicates current infection. The PCRs can be done at any time and through PCRs we can detect the minute quantity of antigens. Thrombocytopenia which is a drop in platelet count is common in dengue fever so we can also go through this platelet count test. This dengue fever cannot be cured but it can be managed by the use of pain relievers like acid aminophens, aspirin, other salicylates and non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs should be avoided. Medications may worsen bleeding. So this dengue virus disease or the dengue fever cannot be treated, cannot be cured, but it can be managed, can be prevented by some of the precautions. We should get rid of places where mosquito can breed. These includes old tires, cans, flower pots, regularly change the water in outdoor bird baths. If someone in your home gets dengue fever, be special vigilant or protect yourself and other family member from this infection. Because the mosquitoes that bite to the infected family member spread the infection to others in your home. I hope you understand this lecture. Don't forget to subscribe my channel Learn Science with me. Like this video, share with your friends. Thank you.